Hey guys, what's up? I'm supposed to be going to the grocery store right now, but I'm here playing with uh, my makeup. Anyway, and chomping on chips, which I'm not supposed to be eating. Anyway, I went to go check out the Hello Kitty collection. I actually got up early on the 12th, went to the Mac store in Philadelphia, and they had nothing. I got there early, the trend was delayed, I was so pissed that I was going to be late. There was no one in the store, there was, I mean the makeup artists were in there, one other person. But if this was New York, it would have been like jam packed. And I get there and I had to get a little Brooklyn because I was like, where is the collection? Because you know, I'm not a big fan of Hello Kitty per se, but I like when new collections come out to go and preview the collections, look at the colors and stuff. And they had the accessories and she was just like, the stuff is not here yet. So I got ticked off and left the store and I went to Macy's and I totally forgot Macy's had it. And again, it was really, there was nobody in Macy's. I really couldn't believe it. Usually again, New York jam packed. Anyway, I got to preview the collection. I got one thing from the collection and a sample. The one thing I got is actually part of the regular collection. It's a lipstick and I usually don't do nudes. I wear a lot of pinks, um, uh, corals, reds on my lips, not really neutral. I have one neutral from the end collection that came out last year, I believe. And I hardly wear it, but I've just fell in love with this color and this is the packaging. And I have to say it wasn't, the collection wasn't as disappointing as I thought it was going to be. And I actually like the packaging. Um, so this is the packaging. It came in this little container here and then, uh, well this, and you slide it in and out. This is the packaging and this color is called fresh brew. And this is what it looks like. And if you love neutrals, I would highly recommend this color. It's, it's gorgeous. I had it on before. But I was just playing with this uh, color that I got from the Cream Sheen collection. And um, this is basically the only thing I really paid for. I went to Macy's and um, I only have one credit card. And there was something else I saw and it was on sale. And I wanted to get an extra uh, discount on it because, you know, my pennies. So I opened up a Macy's card. And usually I wouldn't um, because I have my house now. So, um, of course, you have to worry about credit. But um now it's not so much like oh my god i have to my credit you know because i have my house now so i um, opened up the credit card and she said that i can use the 20 percent on, off on anything that day even mac so um i got 20 percent off of the hello this hello kitty because you can't use your pro discount with this um with like the special packaging collections so i got this fresh brew and i love it i was going to get two until i found out it was part of the regular collection so i can wait or hold off on that once i finish this beautiful color i would swatch it but you probably wouldn't even be able to see it um from the cream sheen or cream team i forget which collection i this one was sold out everywhere even online it sold out and i heard everyone talking about it online so i said let me get it and at first i was like that's what i have on now and you have to play with it. I just put this on no uh, liner or anything like that. Um, this is Lavender Whip. They only had one more in my Philadelphia store and I was able to get it. And this is Lavender Whip. It's, you know, lavender. You have to play with this a bit. Because at first I was like, oh my gosh, it's really bright. But once I put on liner and a little bit of gloss, it was really pretty. I mean, if you're going for like a... If you like this look or this effect, then, you know, I would where you know you can wear it like this if you if you want um all right so the other stuff i picked up was back to mac i was depotting like crazy i could get some some things i really wanted a pink eyeshadow because i don't have a lot of i don't really have a lot of pinks and it's my favorite color which is weird um i have a hot pink from ben nye and i hardly wear that one um so i picked up i found a nice pink that i liked from mac i picked up this color i hope you can see it's called the bling it's just like a nice pink. It's not too bright, not too light. Um, I had, I think it was Swish a while ago, and I think I grew that one. I, I, I didn't, I don't know. I didn't like it as much. So I stopped buying pinks, and I found this one, and I really like it. So I got that. Um, back to Mac. Um, I also got, I think you guys remember the Star Flash collection, and I have a few colors from that. I love the way how they blend. I hope they make that part of the permanent line Um in the near future but I got this color which is called go and I saw it in the regular I saw it when it came out but I don't know why I didn't pick it up then um I got that one it's I had what well, I had tempting I back to Mac that because um go and tempting have almost the same base and I like I prefer this one because tempting is a luster and the color the chunks get everywhere and it uh yeah so I got uh 
go. There was only like, I, I'm surprised. I went to New York. There was only like one or two left. So I got uh, that one. And I picked up um, Tilt, which is a blue-green, more blue, I think, than green, which is what I have on now is playing with before I go to the grocery store. So I have this on, and um, I forgot to put on base. So now my eyeshadow is like moving. Anyway, so back to Mac for this. I'm about to depot this and put it in my palette. Um, oh, and I forgot. Uh, I got a sample of one of the pigments from Hello Kitty, which is what I have on at my crease. And um, this was sold out also. This sold out everywhere. I had to get a sample because there was no more left. And um, I think you could use your pro discount on this. I don't know if I would have gotten it because, again, my pennies, you know, it was Valentine's Day. So... So I got this and it's a blue, I forgot the color. I think it's blue green or something like that. On the website it looks lighter than it actually is because this is very, very, it's a very deep color. This is, it's gorgeous as, oh gosh, on your eyes or this will make a hot um, nail color. Wow, we. So I got that and I wasn't able to, um, go to the pro store for that meet and greet that encore makeup did um my husband and i went to brunch in brooklyn and we were sipping on some strawberry mimosas and i was not trying to leave that man to go to no mac pro store child sorry <gasps> anyway um i also got samples of okay mac and i have a love-hate relationship when it comes to foundations i really didn't find my perfect match with the studio fix and studio tech until like years after shopping at mac so I know they had that new Studio Sculpt collection that came out, and I love the consistency. When I went to the store, they tried it on me. Oh, I love it. Um, but I, t I came out with one sample, tried it on, and it went on beautifully. It looked fine, but when I went out, it just darkened throughout the day. It was NC50. So I'm somewhere, I don't know, a little lighter than NC50, but I have no idea. So th look at this. You think I'm joking? I got, like, actually there's more. I got all these, oh no, that's not it, that's the, ooh, that's the pigment. So I got all these samples, and two of these are concealers, because the concealers, um, I'm pretty okay with those as a match, but um, yeah, so I have to try these. I may have to mix and match um, for, my, for my color. So I got samples, um, and I do like the consistency. So once I find, and I like the, the actual packaging, the tube, it's very hygienic. Um, once I find my correct shade and I get um, some more funds, I will probably be purchasing that because it and it also has SPF uh, 15. Um, and I also got a sample from Sephora of the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I tried the UDPP um, from hearing about it on YouTube. Ran out, got it, hated it. My eyelids get my eyelids. My eyelids get oily. And that thing moved after four hours. Um, so I tried the, I'm, I went to try the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And it, they said it was the same consistency as UDPP. But this last, oh my gosh, I'll do a separate review on this. All I have to say is wow, wow. And um, before my time runs out, I uh, went to the Makeup Forever store, got some samples of the Matte Velvet Foundation. I'll do a review, separate review on that. And they were having an eyelash sale. So I got... Purple lashes for five dollars. I have no idea where I'm going to wear them, and it comes with interesting this clear um glue. So um no idea where I'm going to wear this, but I had to get these purple lashes. They were gorgeous. Uh, the women in my church are known by jewel groups, and every age group has their different jewels. So 30 to 39 are the amethyst. So I said, you know what? This may come in handy when we have some kind of event or summit. So they're purple, and um that's it for me. Um I will talk to you guys later. Bye.